Hello guys. So today we are going to talk about one concurrency issue in Databricks Delta tables. So whenever you try to operate on a one single table, uh, which, which is going to get updated from multiple jobs, it throws some exception. So today we are going to talk about what is that problem and how we can actually resolve that. For that, what we have done is we have created one simple table. What you can see here, it's, it's a step table. It has only two columns, step ID and status. Now what we'll try to do is to reproduce this problem. We will try to hit this uh, table and uh, try to update concurrently with five different threads. And I'll show you how it happens. So in we have one data factory pipeline, simple pipeline. We have set one variable. This variable is an array, one to five, and we'll just loop through it and all of them will try to parallelly call a notebook that notebook is actually nothing but updating your table now it's written a simple update query here update where you are just going to set, uh, set the status based on the step id which we are going to pass from adl okay. now what we'll do is let's simply run this and see what happens so it has kicked in it has it it's running five different parallel threads now what you'll see is one of them or two of them will get succeeded but the other of other three will get failed and i'll show you the exception what exactly it throws this is documented well documented that delta table cannot handle concurrency when you're using lower version of databricks runtime at a higher version they have given some solution but for version lesser than 13 it is still a problem You now you can see it says concurrent append exception files were added to the root if you go back and see your exception you will find why it has exactly failed now you can see here files were added to the root of the table by a concurrent update please try the operation again conflicting coming actually it also tells you that why it has failed which job has actually updated it i'll show you see it says job job id 194356 job name this and run id this has already updated it now i'll show you which job it is this is one of the job which we have run parallelly so let's go and check one which has succeeded because this one which has succeeded has updated it So you can see the job id 194 this is exactly same thing what you can see here it means because the other job has already updated it it this job could not update it it is clearly showing now what are the solution if you want to resolve this problem so there are few uh, solution to it one is that you update your runtime to the latest one the 14 one so the higher version actually provides you row level concurrency the second solution you have is you partition your table when you partition your table it you have to partition in a way that your updates in whichever uh, rows you are updating those all should be in different partitions or third or option is the customized retry option now there is a retry option given in the database as well but when we tried it does not work okay so what we have tried to do is we have implemented a custom logic for retrying and we'll show you very quickly that so as you can see in this notebook, uh, we have tried retry write conflict enable true and retry write conflict limit three. But when we tested this, it doesn't look like it is doing a retry. Okay. So what we have done is we have created a custom function. I'll just uncomment this. So what we are saying is we have created a custom function called retry, retry call and we are saying I want to retry it for the five times. So slowly one by one we'll keep on reducing it so that we do not execute it more than five times. And we are passing the query which we want to run as part of a parameter. So in case there is exception, it will go to exception block and it will reduce my retry count from five to four and subsequently to uh, three to one. And we are also applying some kind of a delay here so that it does not try immediately within the second because the other processes might still be running and updating it right so one way is to apply sleep right? and when we are applying a sleep also we are saying take a random range because if there are two or three parallel processes running at the same time 
if you put the same sleep or delay it will again try to update the same table in the same time so to counter that problem we are saying we are generating a random number between 0 to 20 so for example there are two or three parallel processes which have actually conflicted because it's running at the same time if you give all of them delays 10 seconds all of them will again try after 10 seconds in this case what will happen is between 0 to 20 it will find a different delay some of them may be 5 seconds some can be 10 some can be 7 through this way at least you are creating some gaps between 2 to 3 seconds or to up to 5 to 10 seconds and this way you will be able to create or update the table at different point of time now what you need to do is you need to actually pass your update query to this function okay now we'll try with this function enabled so i'll comment out this so your retry count actually you can configure it based on your needs Now you can see that all our uh, parallel jobs has been successful and if I show you here you can see this I have actually put a print statement so whenever it comes to exception block we are printing it so it says failed for fail it means in the second I mean the first iteration it has failed and it has added a delay of 13 seconds while at the same time the other one which has failed here you can see the four failed added a delay of two seconds so within two seconds tried again and it failed again so you can see one more entry here which says three failed at a delay of 11 it means it took three retries for this job to succeed succeed so this way you can see that all our uh, uh, parallel threads have succeeded some of them may succeed in the first attempt some may be in second third or four five so based on this you can actually change your retry configuration as well so this is i, I wouldn't say that this is the best way of uh, uh, offsetting your problem but this can definitely minimize your problems if you are, are in a situation where you cannot upgrade your cluster this is something which you can apply thank you thanks for watching